Air front Elijah. Air front Elijah here. Air front Elijah here. Gadget Hunter. Sorry, Got another. I don't know that. Air front Elijah here. Gadget Hunter. I got a fun gadget to show you guys here today. Now this is something that's kind of new to me. This is a gaming mouse for PC. I haven't done any of these before. This is the Razer Landshead Tournament Edition. This mouse has been around since the summertime, but this is the new mercury color. And the best part is it's powered by Razer Chroma, which means it churns all sorts of colors. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. So this is not gonna be so much of a review as it is a first look. I'm going to unbox this pretty lady and I'm going to take it for a spin, see how it clicks, see how it feels, show you what it looks like. A few facts first. So this is a gaming optimized mouse and that means the weight and the DPI are optimized to get you the best gaming experience possible. It's also an ambidextrous mouse which means it should be comfortable in the left hand or the right hand. Now this mouse also stores profiles, which means that you can set up the buttons differently and you can switch them on the fly. It stores up to four. So if you're in a hot pub G match and you realize you just ran into Dr. Disrespect and you're gonna try and snipe in the keister, but you realize, uh oh, better run. You can snap your profile on the fly and you can get the hell out of Dodge. Okay, enough jibber jabber. Let's feed the steel. Ooh, it's got a pull tab on it. No steel feeding today. All right, here we go, here we go. Ooh, I gotta say, I love white accessories. I'm glad that they sent me this specific one. And I love accessories that light up. Oh man, ever since I was 18, and I used to build my own PCs and put like cold cathode lights in my case. It's cool that that type of thing is actually popular now. And if a woman walks in and sees that you have a lit up case and it's like bright green on the inside and she can see your GTX cards, whoo, watch out bro, watch out. Okay. Oh cool, so here's a little instruction card that it comes with. It tells you how to switch the profiles, which is on the bottom of the mouse right here. Can I just tell you, the person who has to build this manual is their job. Oh, what a terrible existence. Okay, first impression, super clean look. Look at that lovely lady. Let's give it a couple clicks. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, oh well, it feels good. First impression, feels great in the hand. Let's try it with the left hand. Oh yeah. So you probably noticed this is a wired mouse, which I like, you know, for gaming, you often don't want to use a wireless mouse. I don't even have to tell you this, do I? Because wireless mouse can, can crap out for like a split second and then you'll get your uh, keister shivved. Okay, so feels great in the hand. Buttons are nice and clicky. I love the button placement on this thing. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in the PC and let's get the lights turned on. Okay, so I had the lance head plugged into my PC and the very first thing that I had to do was install the Razer Synapse software. Now the Synapse software is the hub for all the things that you can do with your mouse. And I just have to say right off the bat, I didn't realize how much stuff you could customize with the mouse. You can change every little thing. Okay, so here's the main hub. This is where you get to see your devices. Let's go into the mouse settings and you can see, you can change all the functions of all the different buttons. You can fine tune the performance like crazy. You can change how fast the DPI is and you can also adjust the stages of the DPI increases or decreases. So when you press all the little button, it will go to the DPI that you want. You can calibrate the mouse so it's more accurate on different surfaces. <laughs> As a guy who likes lights on peripherals and in computers, this next part blew my gourd in half. Now there are a bunch of presets that you can switch to on your mouse to make it behave in different ways. And they got a bunch of stuff here. Let's try the breathing one. We'll set it to red. And you can see it just starts huffing and puffing with that red color. Let's try static. I think that's just gonna make it stay one color. Now if you're ready to get loco and you wanna change every single individual LED on this mouse, you can do that. You turn on the advanced effects. That's gonna allow you to open up Chroma Studio. And with Chroma Studio, you can change everything. You can tell the mouse exactly what to do on all the different parts of the mouse and what colors you want the LEDs to show and, and uh, how they should behave. So I set this one to a fire effect and I'm gonna save it. And you'll be able to see it adopts the color and the behavior on that side of the mouse that I just set and will glow back and forth from red to yellow. Okay, let's try another one here. This is called Starlight. I have a feeling we're about to see some serious, really beautiful twinkling. And we'll hit that we want all LEDs to activate with this behavior. We'll hit save. <laughs> there you go. Now your mouse is twinkling. And you can turn on different layers and have different lighting layers activate so your mouse will behave differently in different scenarios. You can also 
install different profiles into this mouse, as I mentioned earlier, so that the buttons behave in particular ways for particular games. Did you just see all that? The Razer Lanshead Tournament Edition in the new Mercury color. I'm wowed. We wow. I had no idea that mice could be this customizable. How amazing is it to be able to fine tune the individual LEDs on the mouse, the surface sensitivities, you can make it right for your specific desk or surface. You can change the DPI settings. You can control literally everything on this mouse and make it look and behave exactly how you want it to, all via a beautiful app that makes it super easy to control everything. You can store different profiles so that you can customize the buttons and have the buttons change in the various games that you're playing. I mean like, we gotta get these guys up. I'm giving this mouse two pumps, one on each buy. Great job, Razer. And actually, Razer has sent me some other products to check out, so I'll be doing some videos on those soon. If you want to see those, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My name is Aaron Elijah, Gadget Hunter. There's more to come, so much more. I'll see you guys next time.